Hey everybody, my name is Chris Sarda at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter and right here on YouTube that you're watching right now. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, I Breathe the Body. This is the new sort of weirdo abstract horror book by Zach Thompson. Uh, this one is, uh, is drawn by Andy McDonald. And this is coming right after Lonely Receiver that he also wrote for Aftershock either has ended or is about to end. Um, so Lonely Receiver, I read number one, and then I, I decided to trade weight. And I think I bought number two and read that too. Um, but I'm still going to trade weight for it. And I've heard good things about it. You know, I've heard it... Um, I've heard Lonely Receiver be uh, uh, be compared to that movie Her uh, by the um, Spanish director that slips his name slips my mind right now, um, and uh, and I really enjoyed number one and two supposed to be very like sexual and stuff like that. Um, you know, if 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 it's like Her and sexual and has that little horror bent, then that's great. So it's it's going to be hard for me to compare it to those, but I think um, I think. Uh, being, you know, reading the beginning of both of these stories uh, makes me immediately want to do that. Like, this is what Zach Thompson's doing. He's trying to make a trying to make a statement um, a little on the nose so far. Again, being just someone that read the beginning of both of these stories now about social media and uh, and our cell phones and whatnot. Um, it's like he he watched that Netflix documentary and and is going to make a horror book out of it, um, but. You know, it sounded like I was being, you know, detra detracting from it, but I enjoyed what I read from Lonely Receiver. You know, I'm going to spend additional money to buy the trade, and I'm going to follow. Um, I'm going to follow this book, to probably digitally. I'm trying to like s switch and buy some things digital, um, even though it ends up costing more actually. But then I still get them new. I can still read them, and I have a baby. I can read them on the phone and stuff like that. So, um, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to try it out. We'll see how it works. Uh, this book. Uh, I don't know really what to make of it. I like it. Um, I, I I don't have any, you know, at the beginning it feels on the nose, but maybe it's just setting what the theme is going to be or what uh, Zach Thompson wants the theme, wants you to think the theme is going to be. So a lot of it is a, a woman walking around and she's uh, sort of the person behind uh, a viral uh, a viral video maker. And um, and it, and it's just her musing about social media and becoming viral and making this kid famous and uh, hoping that she gets a stake in the company, some equity in the company, and 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 it really just does that a lot. It does it in an interesting way. Um, we get a flash of something you know organic and gross looking at the beginning, but it's hard to say what it is. Um, you know, it mentions a catastrophe, so we hit another trope in the world of, of, uh, indie comics. Um, it didn't look post-apocalyptic, uh, but maybe we're headed that way. Maybe it takes place in two time periods. So there's a lot of stuff here that I don't know yet, which would, would not make me completely detract from it. The only thing I will say is that Zach Thompson seems to be exploring these themes. And I, and I'm hoping now that we've had two books in a row, you know, spiritual sequels, if, you know, if not in the same continuity, but you know, sequels and theme that, um, that it's a, a little bit deeper than, than something obvious like that. I know a lot of people like, um, James Vandermeer and I might like him too, but I read the first book of the, of his uh, famous trilogy that they apparently made a bad movie of that I haven't watched yet. Um, but see, that was something that was on the nose for me, even though it was a little bit abstract. It was, you know, very like, uh, on the nose for its, you know, environmental impact and things like that. So um, I hope to get uh, something weirder or abstract, deeper, stranger than, than what the first book has, has sort of set the tone for. Um, but at the same time, I don't take away from the first book for doing that. It's trying to set the tone. It's trying to tell you what this main character is and, and who the characters around her are. So I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to stick with it. Zach Thompson and his uh, former part, former writing partner, I don't think they write together anymore, Lonely Nadler, have been doing some really great stuff outside of Marvel. Um, not that that, I, I enjoyed their X-Men run too, but um, you know the stuff I've read of theirs is, is up there with uh, like some of the white noise stuff I've been talking about lately. Anyway, um, 
now I forgot the name of the book, How I Breathe the Body, uh, Zach Thompson, Andy McDonald on Aftershock. Last thing I'll say about it is that it is $4.99. So I'm buying it because I talk about it and I talk about the stories and I read them, blah, blah, blah. But I would say that it is not worth $4.99 and you shouldn't buy it. Yeah, you should wait for the trade or, or some cheaper way. I really, really don't think we should be um, spending money on $4.99 books, to be honest. And I know I say that. As I've, as I've spent money multiple times now on books that I'm saying are not worth the value. Um, but in general, uh, I would say that if you're on the fence, let the $4.99 say that you shouldn't buy it, I would say. Like, we, we got to end this $4.99 BS, especially Aftershock number ones that are still just 20 pages. I didn't count these, but everything else has been, um, you know, 20 pages. Uh, and it's not like I'm against Aftershock. I mean... Join the future. You know, I'm waiting for the trade. I'm pre-ordering the trade and getting it cheaper. So it's not like I'm against them. Uh, I just don't want their floppies to be $4.99. I just want that to fail. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Chris Sarda at Cast and Comics on Instagram and Twitter. You guys have a great day.